Welcome back to Construct in 3D series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to create 3D objects. Now, in our game currently, we've got some 3D objects set up as dice, but we want to explore these a bit more on how they work and how we can use them in our game to create something a bit more exciting than just dice. So first thing that we need to do is right click, insert a new object, and we want a 3D shape. We can give it a name as well. I'm just going to call it box, and we're going to click. Now, what you've got is you've got six sides that make up a cube. So back is actually the bottom and front is actually the top. So six will appear at the top. So if we hit back on this, you'll see that six is appearing at the top, one appears at the bottom, and then all the other faces are around the edge. Now, these are just individual frames that we can change. So what you can do with this is you can start customizing these to be whatever you want them to be. So I can essentially just erase this six and I can add my own texture. So I'm going to add just a very quick texture to this cube here. So I'm going to have a red face. I'm going to change this one to be a different kind of face. And that will do just for speedness of the video. But you can spend some time creating some really detailed pixel up with this. You can create stuff like buildings and landscapes. So you'll see that we've got our cube here. If I place that in front of my player now and hit play, you'll see we've got our green face. We come round and we should have also our red face. If I rotate it around, our red face on top, so that's why we can't see the red face. So these objects are really, really simple to create, but we can do more than just create them. So if we click on a particular object, we can go down to its properties. So we've got the shape of it first, so we can change the shape slightly. And you can see that we get a bit of an idea of what that looks like. So prism, wedge. So if I play, you'll see the wedge a bit more clearly. So that could be like a ramp. Pyramids. Corner in, so this is where just one corner comes in, like so, and then corner out. So we can affect the shape of these. There's not many shape options, but it's a nice sort of option we've got. We've got the Z height, so this is how tall the shape is. So if we were to change this to 100, we've now got a much, much taller shape. Now, obviously, it means that the image is stretched as well, so just bear that in mind if you edit that option that you are going to stretch your image by doing that. We can also adjust face visibility, so we can actually remove which side of the face are visible. So you can see that I can take away a couple of sides there. So I can use this to have a different shape completely. But if you're making a game that you want to be very optimized, you might want to hide faces that are not visible to the player, sort of out in the background. Let's turn them back on. Um, and then you can also actually set an object as the face instead. So we can take something like the right facing objects and we can take an image that we've got already and apply that to the face. So I'm just gonna quickly apply my floor texture to a couple of sides and then we run this and you'll see that it just applies that to my shape. So that's another quick way that you can change what some of the sides look like without having to create a different object every single time. You see that only applies to the objects I'm clicking on, so I can apply that to different ones. So if you've got lots of different buildings, you can create one building object, and then you can change the faces of each individual sides where you want to. So that's a bit of a quick tutorial on how to use the 3D objects. 3D objects can be very, very powerful in order to create lots and lots of interesting things. If you want to create um, an enemy sprite that has that sort of 2D sort of Paper Mario look, you can also do that and then remove all the other faces. You're just left with one. This will give you a 3D enemy without having them just be a box or anything like that. So you've got that option as well.